one day, the Bloods attack. Heroes, the one hero available, rushes, attempted to save the day. But it is shortly seen that overpowered by the balloons. As waves and waves of balloon come and try and try to knock it down. Quincy is discouraged that he's not able to help his fellow monkeys as well as he thought he would be. He decides after this battle if he wins or not, he's critic. And he will shortly be replaced by a new hero. Quincy, discouraged by this defeat, decides he has to crit. But Gwendolyn sees the physician available and decides to apply. But no. The balloons are carrying on with their invasion. The balloons continue making it offensive, and Gwendolyn quickly comes to help. With the recent defeat, she is not 100% sure if she'll be able to beat all the balloons, but only time can tell. As the balloons keep invading, he is pleasantly surprised to see how well he is doing. But shortly, all that happiness goes down the drain. The first belt of balloons have official, has got past. He manages to get an upgrade and cut off the supply. But he is slowly but surely getting discouraged of what is going on. He makes sure he makes sure that he can actually get these balloons under control, which it does at the moment look like he can. But he is scared for when bigger scarier balloons come by. After that he thinks he may quit. If he fails because of embarrassment. But as balloon and balloon get past, a lonely dot monkey wanders the forest and says, Can I help? Gwendolyn says, Sure. Quick, help, help, help. Here's better dots and here's heck a catapult, spike pole, okay? Just use it. Now with the advantage of a dog monkey, he decides he may not quit, but he shall try to survive. Luckily, they are not having any more balloon leaks. And Gwendolyn greatly thanks the dog monkey for trying to help. The dog monkey did not know that this would be the age which all dog monkeys start to help. As a camo balloon flies pa floats past, this seems to be the end of Gwendolyn's reign. He decided that if he die, if if he gets defeated in this round. He is not coming back. The dog monkey is sad to hear this, but will welcome the newest hero. Unsure who it will be, hopes that they will still be powerful and strong. They see another dog monkey that quickly comes and ends up being able to use a crossbow which saved them. It was a close one, but saved them. They are having a little hope for not letting them get defeated, but ultimately they have the gut feeling 
that they will be defeated shortly. Gwendolyn and the two dot monkeys have a feeling this may be the last round. They all salute each other, and by surprise, they win this battle. But they have a feeling that soon, shortly, they're not going to be so lucky. For the next invasion, as the balloons start to invade the castle, Striker Jones quickly and swiftly, may I add, decides we need to help the castle with a dog monkey coming along just to help a little bit. But the same dog monkey decides I'm gonna help. I can help well. He's greatly welcomed, but nobody knows if they will surely be able to fend off the attack. As the dot monkeys get faster at throwing their dots, one has the idea, what if we threw three dots instead of one? He tries it, and it ends up working very well. But with this discovery, both dot monkeys decide, we'll do it. But they know this round, this time, won't go as smoothly. An engineer monkey decides, hey, this looks like a job for me. And makes a factory for spikes. The so called spike factory gets smart. And with it being smart, they also have long lasting spikes, which everyone is surprised to see that an engineer monkey could make something so talented. The monkeys have a bit of hope, and then a boomerang monkey comes out of the castle and is like, hey, I have some experience with battle, battling. He gets better things and slowly gets glaives. Another one comes out and is like, hey, I want to do that too. They both manage to throw their things very fast. And hope is looking up. This may be the first true victory. As a monkey carries attack shooter, he places it and makes sure that it fires lots of darts. Striker Jones says, thank God that engineer built that factory. Without it, we'd all be screwed. Everyone agrees. This may be the first victory. They are still not sure. Only time will tell. The defenses are alerted of the attack. Snipers come up and try to help. Fast firing, and they're surprised they actually had a victory. Gwendolyn decides, you know, it's good I quit. It seems like that they're having a better time right now. 